Welcome back everyone to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Today I want to take you on the journey of updating my HomeSeer uh, 3 up to HomeSeer 4. Uh, I just kind of want to walk you through the steps it takes and kind of tell you any issues or anything that I've run into uh, with trying to do the update. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and downloaded the HomeSeer 4 version and now I just want to walk you through what I've done to do the update. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off here in the main screen and we're going to go and make sure we have a current backup. So you just want to go up to tools and go to your setup and we're going to do a backup of the current system. And you just want to hit the, um, the backup config and that will take a while to to back it up depending on how big your system is mine is pretty big and it'll take a while so while that's doing here I'm gonna go ahead and cut over once it's finished because it does take quite a while so now that it's finished the next thing you want to do is take note of your current configuration file um, and here I don't know why I've got one with two dots in it but uh, mine currently is just the HomeSeer data dot AS, um, HSD. Um, next on the screen here is they want you to go and go into your config file and they want you to delete your user um, files, which is the user config and the temp. So just delete both of those. And the next thing we're going to do is we will go through and uninstall HomeSeer 3. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to shut down HomeSeer 3 and we're going to go in here and do the uninstall. So I'll go to add and remove programs and it shut down. I just want to make sure it shut down. Um, if you do have any um, anything running like the voice it will um, ask you to stop it. So um, I did have the task manager open there just in case I did need to shut down anything, but I believe everything shut down. And so now that it's deleted, it's going through the uninstall. And okay, I do have something open, so it's going to require a reboot, <laughs> of course. So we'll just do okay, and we'll let this go ahead and finish. So I'm going to speed it up here and go through this. Oh, and another thing here is make sure you do not delete your temporary files. You want to keep everything intact because you're going to install the HomeSeer 4 in the same directory. That way all your plugins and configurations will be available for the HomeSeer 4 when you do the install. So make sure you do not delete those. And here we've all finished and I need to run a reboot. So I will come back after I have rebooted. So now I've done the uh, fresh reboot. I'm going to go down and I've got the HomeSeer 4 download on the desktop. So I'm just going to click install. And once it comes up, we are going to just click through the next. Um, and then the next important thing is make sure you select the correct folder. So I'm just going to accept everything. And here we want to change this to the HomeSeer 4 folder. So make sure you go in and click it and do OK. And just hit Next to start the install. And this will take a while. So I'm going to pause it here and while this does the actual install. And I'll come back once it's finished. All right, now it's finished. So let's let it start up here and see what HomeSeer 4 looks like. All right, so now we get a startup. And the next thing once it gets to the startup is we've got to go in and do the registration. Um, and I will go ahead and tell you on the registration um, I did have an issue and I had to contact HomeSeer to get the, the new license. And I'll show you what happened here in just a second. Because in their documentation, they said to use your HomeSeer 3 license 
to do the registration and for some reason it would not take buying. So startup is complete so we'll go over here to the screen that launched. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over and enter in the license. Uh, the one issue like I said I ran into here I put in my old license and password and Homesear wouldn't take it. Uh, and what I had to do was I had to finally contact the uh, technical support and they sent me a Homesear 4 uh, user ID and password because I kept trying the Homesear 3 because it said enter it and they didn't send anything with the purchase so I, I was assuming it was the, the old license but it wasn't. So finally <clears throat> I put in the uh, the new one that they gave me with the correct password and everything was accepted. So next I went on to the HomeSphere 3 and as you can see when I went to try to put the password in it wouldn't take it. Uh, so I tried different formats of the license and nothing would happen. So I just hit continue and it says it was in correct format. And I just hit confirm again and just kind of clicked on it a few times. And it finally allowed me to enter the password. So I don't know if that was a little bug or what, but here I was able to enter it and continue down, home down to the next uh, license box. And this one, again, is my Home Seer 3 license uh, that I just put in. And same process, try to put it in. You have to play around and finally get the password to come up. So once I got that done, you have to go in and um, you'll create your web account. And this is for your My Home Seer. So this will be what you use to log in on the My Home Seer account. So just remember your username and password. You'll just throw those in here and this will create your um, My Home Seer account. And we'll do continue. And the next thing is just picking your location. So here I will pick Charlotte, North Carolina. That's so next we'll hit continue and that is it. We'll do finish. And I'll use my username password. And this will be the first view of HomeSeer 4 that I've got for my system. So we've got everything up and it looks like everything was copied in but I still want to go in and make sure that the settings are correct. So I'm going to go in and just make sure that the backup and the configuration, everything is set up. So what I'm going to do is go into the backup and restore. Like I said, this is the first time I've done it, so I'm seeing these new as well. And we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so this is restore. So this looks like it's a automated restore that you would pick, and I don't have any done because... It's a brand new build, so I guess I'll close out of that. <clears throat> See if I can find where I'm supposed to go to the setup here and see if it's under that tab. They said I need to go to the edit configuration. There you go. And I do have the, the correct configuration, the home seer, and the backup restore, so I shouldn't need to do every, any of that because that account is correct. So let's just close this out. So okay, all that's done. Let's go back and kind of take a look around. So go back to the device list here. Actually, I'm going to switch over and go off of my remote desktop and go to my normal web browser and see how this looks. Bigger screen. So here I've got it in the tile format, which is kind of new. Uh, you do you can switch it back to the list view if you like the old style. Um, but everything looks like it's here. Um, let's see, yeah, the charts are showing up. Everything uh, looks like it got copied over. Uh, let's go up and take a look at the events, see how the events tab looks. 
and it's a little bit cleaner layout now. Uh, let's go into one and see how you would edit or create one. So the email and yeah, pretty much the same format. Just have the advanced options here that you can click through. And just to check one of my plugins, let me go over to the plugins tab and I'll do the current cost. That's my home energy monitor and just see if it's still working and reading the data correctly. And this takes always a second to load. And there we go. So everything's reading. Uh, running the air conditioner quite a bit today. Um, but anyway, well, that's it for the installation. Um, if I find out any other tips, tricks, or um, any more issues that I run into, uh, once I play around with it, I will let you guys know. But I appreciate you stopping by and checking out this quick video on doing an upgrade. It was pretty straightforward, even though I did have to roll it back, uh, which was uninstalling four and going back to three and then reinstalling again, it went surprisingly well. So I wouldn't hesitate to do it again. It was uh, straightforward, uh, didn't take much time. Um, like I said, I probably cut out just a few minutes of the loading, the backup and the actual install. So it was pretty much the length of this video was how long it took me. So, but anyway, well, I appreciate you uh, stopping by again, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and give me a like if you like this, and don't forget to hit the bell notification, and be, uh, let you know when I put out new videos. But anyway, have a great day, and